Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak and we are playing Hegemony 3 together with the newest DLC, the Eagle King. We're playing on expert difficulty as Syracuse. Welcome to the glorious Syracusan Empire. We have nearly gotten all the native cities of our faction. We've got uh, Syracuse, obviously, then we've got Akrai, Heloros. In the last episode we got Camarina and now we are marching hard for Gela over there. And then our, the foundation of our empire will be completed. Looking forward to that very much. We're building um, a bunch of workers over here in that city. Trying to get all these resource buildings under our thumb. We want to stockpile food for the winter. Uh, we still have a little bit left. Three weeks until autumn. And then we're going to have a couple of autumn weeks. And then we do have to get through the winter where our food production is going to be radically reduced. Um, <laughs> and if you don't store enough food, um, your population is not going to appreciate your mismanagement. They might actually look for someone else who can, who can do the job better. Um, right, now, let's continue moving our troops over here. I just sent these guys over um, to have a look if there isn't a raider camp in the area. Because I don't want to lose my workers to, to raiders. It doesn't look like it though, so I'm just gonna start to start to send my my workers out to capture all these resource buildings. Send you over. I'm gonna send you over. And we're gonna send you over. And let's hope that we can capture them soon enough that we uh, can get over the winter fairly fine. Um, I'm, I'm recording this episode right after the last one, so I haven't gotten around to renaming generals after the Greek names of uh, you guys. I hope that actually someone did put their name in the comments. It's gonna look like a proper fool if you didn't. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that in the next episode. Um, gonna collect these over the weekend, and then uh, next week I'll actually um, go and record some more, and then you can be in here with me as one of my glorious commanders. Right. So these guys are all out capturing our resource buildings. Oh, and that city can be upgraded. That's good. Let's do that. It's gonna push up their um, their food consumption. But it's also gonna gonna increase the taxes and all that that they that they can bring, so I think that's fine. Um, we do have a unit of hoplites in here, and it looks like we're not really gonna get attacked from that area if we don't get raiders from the sea, which is something that can happen. Um, make no mistake, it has happened to me in the past. Um, you can get raider ships over here attacking you. What I could do is I could theoretically build a camp in that area. That might be something that I could do. Um, unload food. Where is it? Detached general? No. I guess I gotta bring them out to, to actually go in and build stuff. It's somewhere over here. Yeah, over here it is. Construct building. So if you go, if you do that, you see all the places where you can build camps. And I could actually build one over here to sort of get this area under my control. It might not be a bad idea because we have no city down there. It's going to cost us 15 silver. But it's going to bring the whole area under our control. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. It's going to cost me a little bit of money, but... Okay. What happened now? Okay, yeah, we still got we still got eight um, slots in this mine for more slaves. Got to get there at some point. Um, other places that are not connected doesn't look like it. These are connected. This place isn't. So I'm gonna connect you two over here. That does it. Fine. Good. Okay, so let's let's visit this last independent Syracusan city. And see what they want for their for their allegiance. Oh, and they are ready to be upgraded, so that's good. I like it. Hello. The people of Gala have been awaiting your arrival since we first heard word of your plan to unite our peoples. While some among us seem eager to relinquish our independence for any chance of glory, others are less convinced of your intentions. 
If you truly seek the prosperity of all our peoples, perhaps you may provide us some aid before we make our decision. Okay, so they said the same thing that these guys said. Maybe they were close. We could definitely see a sea trading uh, route between them when we looked at them a while ago. During the last attack, raiders carried away some of our citizens and are holding them captive in a fort nearby. We fear they may be sold into slavery if we do not act swiftly to rescue them. If you could aid us in bringing them safely home, we would forever be grateful. I think I can do that. Yeah, why not? Okay, a group of volunteers has gathered near, near our city. They are eager to see their friends and family again and hope to help fight the kidnappers. Good luck. So what do we get? We gained a group of spearmen, volunteers, a mixed group of workers and former soldiers who have volunteered to take up arms and follow your command in hopes of rescuing their neighbors and families who were captured by raiders. They are being commanded by Olympus of Gela. Um, a rather male name for a female, but oh well. Unit defense is plus 30%, skill research plus 20%. That's really good. That's really good. I'm glad to have you. Is that my city now? No, it isn't. Um, so, where are they? Find and rescue captives and bring them to Gela. I'm thinking they might actually be in here. I don't know, though. Yeah, I think we've got to go for for that building over there. Now, we've got, a, we've got a unit of spearmen. These guys are not bad. They are average. I wouldn't really want to use them on my own, but I'll take them. Um... We've got 90 days for this, so it's not really a thing that we can fail. Looks like we've got another skill point. Okay, good. Um, let's go for more population growth, advanced urbanization, because I definitely want to go for the colonization. Um, being able to turn the... Um, what's that? Oh, slave market. Nice. Yeah, I would actually not mind being able to either buy or sell slaves. It's not a problem. Um, yeah, I do want to colonize. What's that? Unconnected resource building. Why are you unconnected? Oh, you, you just just got there. I'm going to connect you up like that. Does that do it? Yeah, that did it. Okay, fine. Right, so we're going gonna to bring our frontline uh, fighters along like this. I'm not sure I want these spearmen, these volunteers. Um, what are you? Equipped with shields and spears. They are better armored but less offensive and slower than skirmishers. Spearmen. Yeah, it's just normal spearmen. I don't think I'm going to keep these guys. Because our hoplites are actually quite a bit better. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to take them into battle with me. Yeah. Might not be a thing. Okay, we've got a nearby group of rebels that have taken arms. Okay, let them let them come. I don't have a problem with that at all. Okay, we've got more enemy units. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to use them for the fight if things go dire, but I'd rather just give these guys the experience. At least that's what I'm planning. Hmm. Any of our other cities that can level up? It doesn't look like it. How many skill points are we getting out of this? Traded food? No, that's all the trading tab. It's interesting that this levy taxes thing is in here. I like that. I'm really happy with it. Uh, we haven't built anything in here, have we? No, since I've still been waiting to do anything in there. Um, city assimilation rate. I mean, heavy infantry training is actually pretty good. Maybe, maybe we would want to build that because that'll allow us to go for... The heavy hoplites, heavy infantry training. These guys take two recruits per man, but they're actually significantly better than these guys. These guys have, well, the melee attack of 100 and defense of 300. These guys have melee attack of 150 and defense of 400. So they're quite a bit uh, heavier than the other guys. Um, these guys we have to research, um, the Greek phalangites, but that's fine. And these guys, we need elite infantry training. So this is heavy infantry training, and you can you can upgrade that to elite infantry training somewhere down the line. Yeah, over here. Allows for the training of better armed and more disciplined infantry units. So I think we might actually go for the barracks. 
just to build up our our forces. I was sort of tempted to go for the cavalry, um, for the cavalry stables, but that might not be a good idea. Hmm, max recruits are also good though. I mean, having the training ground could really help us make the most out of our troops. I'm torn. All these buildings are good. We just gotta gotta keep expanding this thing. But I think we might actually go for the heavy for the barracks for now. We have a really good income for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. That's a crazy good income. Hmm. Okay, I take it. I take it. I'm gonna build the barracks. Oh, I don't have the wood for it. Okay. Yeah. Forget that for now. We need to we need to uh, gather the proper wood before we can do anything there. Uh, we're going to need more wood to upgrade the city as well, so forget that. Uh, but I'm going to keep in mind, just keep in mind that, I'm, that I do want to build a heavy infantry um, training ground in Syracuse. Now, where were we? We were trying to take these guys out. So we got three units of rebel slingers. Looks actually like um, a tasty amount of slaves might come out of this. Maybe we're gonna bring these guys up on this little hill to maximize their range. These guys were just gonna... No, wait, no. I want you standing there, right there. Okay. Um, looks like we have to engage with these guys. We're just gonna bring them up a little bit closer. And they're attacking my, my peltasts. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Okay, we're charging these guys. And they're running away. That's good. That's good. Um, we've got to go after these now. Come on. Let's attack them. Uh, I'm going to detach my general. And try to get these slaves. Slaves are currently more important than... Than getting experience, I think. Well, actually... Guys, no, come on. Just skirmish mode. Chop, chop, guys. Don't let them get away. Don't let them get away. We need them. Um, try to get them. Come on. Yeah, we're not fast enough. I'm gonna pull you off your unit. That might be a thing. We're gonna send you after these guys. Let's hope you don't get wounded. They do come back if they actually get uh, destroyed or anything, but... Uh, you can set the spearmen to skirmish mode, so they run faster. I guess we won't be able to catch these guys before they reach their camp, so we'll just try to... Yeah, maybe it's possible. We've got these, so we got eight slaves out of this, and our general over there might actually be able to capture the rest of that group. Um. Oh uh, yeah, we're making really good income now. I like it. Must be to do with the amount of uh, buildings that we took over here. Right. Yeah, you did well, actually. You did really well, Olympus of Gala. We're gonna attach you to this unit again. So we've got eight slaves and another eight slaves. So we've got sixteen slaves out of this. Um, pretty happy. And there are indeed the captives in there. So let's go ahead, take that thing down. And we've got another group of rebels. <laughs> okay, but they are near Syracuse. Well, pretty sure that our groups over here can take care of them. We're gonna pull these guys back a little bit. Um, just because I do wanna fight in my supply range. So, bring you over, and we're gonna orient you the right way. That's fine. As long as it's only these guys, we'll be fine. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I could actually send these guys onto the walls, and then they would um, throw stuff after them. But it's not a problem. Okay, now shall we free those captives before they get sold into slavery? I think that's what we want to do. So... Find and rescue the captives. Let's capture this thing. Let's capture this camp. Oh, and we're out of food. That's not good. That's very bad for morale. <laughs> mm. 
So we're gonna go ahead and send all these units to capture this thing because um, when people are out of food, they get really cranky. Their morale goes down to um, zero. That's not good at all. We've been dawdling way too long. Okay. We... Uh, did we get those guys? Ah, there they are. Okay, captives. Right. So, we're going to bring out these captives. Um, these guys, I think we're going to send home right away. Although they might be resupplied in that area. That might be fine. Um, we don't want to lose our slaves. So, I'm going to march you over here. We're going to send these guys over there. And you're going to go to Gela. That's fine then. Let's hope that these guys don't starve to death. Yeah, we got very, very, very bad morale over there. That can happen. Ah, where are these people? Ah, yeah. Oh, all right. They're already fighting, but they can't really do much. They can't really do much in here. I don't think that that's, that's really a problem. So, you said to skirmish. We'll try to capture you. Come on. Could use some more slaves. Don't kill them all. Oh, come on. Guys. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. People, people are very hungry. They're very cranky. It's my fault. It's my mismanagement. Can't resupply. Oh, I got this now. Right. Um, I might not want to burn this down because it actually will allow me to sort of um, control the area around it. Come on. The captives are moving way too slow. We need the food out of this thing. Do they have food stored in there? Yes, they do. Let me pay my respects on behalf of the Sikaloi. While relations with your predecessor were often strained, my leader wish, uh, wishes to make a new start. In honor of your new reign, we wish to propose a peace between our peoples. Okay, Sikilian ambassador. We can accept the truce. Um, are these those guys? Katan? Yeah, Sikaloi. We're at war with these guys. They aren't friendly. We're stronger than them. I guess this is the the, the people that uh, that the island got named after. We've got 10 days to think about this. I mean, I'm going to take it. We can always break it if we want. Let this begin a new era of peace between our peoples. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, come on, move inside the city borders. The slaves don't need to eat. Raider slaves. That's so that's that's a good thing. Okay. We will forever be grateful to you for reuniting us with our families. Our leaders have agreed that our most secure future lies in following your banner. That's good. Don't don't uh, regard the fact that I'm letting my troops starve. Don't worry about that. Okay. Our people at long last stand united. But we're not the only people in this land. We are beset on all sides by tribe and city-states that would make us their master. And we need to prove our dominance. Make us their master? Yeah, I guess so. We need to prove our dominance over some if we are to truly be masters of our own fate. Right, so our general says we have to control all native land of two defeated nations. Because we do want to... Uh, the game is called Hegemony, so... Hegemony, so... We want to reach that hegemony. Okay, people are getting something to eat now, so they shouldn't be as cranky as they were before. Hopefully. Um, we're gonna connect you via sea with the other city. And it looks like you could be upgraded as well. I don't think that we have the, the wood for it currently, but that's not a problem really. We've got some slaves, some raider slaves, and I think we might just send them into that logging camp. I wonder how far... Yeah, I wonder how far the next um, the next faction is. Maybe we just scout a little bit in that direction. Yeah, maybe not with the volunteers. We're just going to send you in there. Are we paying for you? We could retrain these guys, though. So they don't really need to be spearmen. We could actually retrain them if we, if we research the retrainability in the skill tree. We could retrain them to, yeah, any unit, basically. Which is a good way to up to to keep your your experienced units up to date. 
Um, right. How much are we paying for you? Come on, cost. Yeah, 15. All right. Well, still, we can upgrade them. So I'm going to give them increased unit morale. And we're going to give them the melee damage. I think that's good. They earned that. These guys also have experience. Uh, what can we do with you? We could upgrade the medic. We're still missing one officer in there. Oh. I guess I'll go for less recruits needed. I think it is a good idea. Let's do that. It doesn't really make the unit better, but it does improve my situation. So I think that's going to be fine. Um, are you upgradable? No, you haven't really gotten any any sort of experience. Well, we're going to send you into the logging camp. These guys are now connected with our lands. Um, I think so far this has been rather successful apart from the fact that our bloodthirsty um, Somatophilac has actually killed all the attacking raiders. I mean, who can blame them? I would maybe get angry as well if people came to raid in my land, but we could have used them as slaves. Just saying, just saying for the next time. It's not really a criticism. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy we now got the foundation for our empire. Next time we'll do more scouting. And we'll try to, yeah, we'll try to scout and then we'll we'll go for um, the planning of our conquest of Sicily. I do hope that you join me for that. If you enjoyed the episode, um, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.